Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. We we're playing sign language expert. Okay. So we need two chairs. And then compilation. <laughs> One more. Okay. What we have here is we have an interview, someone being interviewed. Uh, he is an expert in something. Okay, go ahead. What is he an expert in? Because whatever he's an expert in, as they talk about it, it will be, it will be uh, played out by me. Sure. Anal bum covers. Judo. He's an expert on bad programming. More specifically, UPN. He's an expert on STD. When I don't have anything to say, I go for broke on the visuals. Now, when we bought these props, this was actually what we originally had in mind. As you can tell. That's the point. Because I'm not a coroner. Dwarf karate. Right, he's an expert on dwarf karate. Okay, so we're going to start the scene. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll return you to UPN's When Penises Shrink after this. But we have a special guest with us today. I'm going to let him tell you who he is and what exactly he does. Don't you tell. Look, man, just read the teleprompter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's not written in Dwarvish. <laughs> Can we translate it to dwarf, please? Yeah. Thank you. Is that better? Sure. Does that appease you? Mm. Good, read it. Uh, hello, fellow Americans. <laughs> I'm here to... Oh, shit. <laughs> well, I'm an expert on dwarf karate. Dwarf karate? That's right. I'm, done se I'm sorry. I've done several films. Several films? And what were the names of those films? They're untranslatable in English. <laughs> the Ninja of Bazadur. <laughs> and so forth. I heard they had three sequels. They did. Same title. Yes. Yes. With numbers after. Exactly. Hence, <laughs> that's what sequels have. Anyway, getting on with the questioning, how did you get into this line of work? Well, the elves were always kicking my ass at school and taking the lunch <laughs> Shooting me with those little spitwad bows. <laughs> so it's damn funny. So, I'm going to learn to defend myself. I need to do a Polish accent as well. Right, right, I see. So, you aren't a dwarf yourself. I am. You are a dwarf. Part of becoming a dwarf. Right. Managed to talk like a dwarf. Right, right. So, what in entails dwarf karate? What type of karate do you have to study to become a dwarf? Professional karate man. Dwarf That's karate. the technical term for it, I assume. I studied dwarf karate. <laughs> Can't wait to over that. We did, but what does that entail? Kicking the shit out of hell. <laughs> what did I get this guy? <laughs> what did I get this guy? <laughs> and whoever else. And whoever else. Ah. So, is there anyone else besides dwarfs in your movies? Well. And elves. Uh, no, he's not real. He's in the movie. What's not real? Cave Troll. <laughs> and what is Cave Troll's name? It's untranslatable. <laughs> Everything's translatable. Okay, okay, it means... Elephant trunk-sized penis. Okay, very good. <laughs> very good. Your, uh, your, dwarf accent, your dwarf accent sounds a little off. I'm working on it. Come on, man. Damn it, would you let me ask my question? Right. Where exactly are you from? Don't say dwarf land. <laughs> well, I'm from New Jersey. Are there a lot of dwarfs in New Jersey? Yes. Is it completely populated it's with dwarfs? Under New Jersey. Under New Jersey. <laughs> you see, you have to be more specific. We are miners and craftsmen. And is it true that, that, that dwarves are actually really short? Do 
to have eyes. <laughs> this isn't a question game. Answer my question. Yes. <laughs> You're talking about the height of our bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that, but I was wondering, could you stand up for us, please? I'm standing. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. You just seem a lot taller when I'm sitting next to you. Do you have a phone book backstage? <laughs> we do, uh, but I'm afraid we can't get that out. Yeah, sorry, but I'm <laughs> I have a couple more questions, two to be exact. Are they as stupid as the first? <laughs> You've got to get back to New Jersey! There's a problem! We've got smog again! <laughs> you know, smog. some people think that there are no dwarf women. <laughs> but there are. there are. Are they as attractive as they are said to be? Yes. <laughs> If you're talking about the height of their bodies. <laughs> okay, I, I only have uh, one more question for you. Good. Just for that, I have two. Great. What's with the hats? Why do you wear those particular hats? And what's with the long beards? It just grows on my face, I don't know. <laughs> but it's in my mouth. It's with what? A sword? Perhaps. Oh, that would work. Let me shave you first. Uh, I actually just shaved yesterday. Oh, isn't that convenient? Yes. <laughs> I can't see my scabbard. But I can do it anyway. Go on, karate. Sorry, sorry. Okay, my, my final question are... Is this the final, final question? <laughs> Yes, it is. Is that okay with you? You sure? Okay. Okay, dwarf man. I have one final question, and that final question is, why is your language so hard to understand? That's not a stupid question, is it? Didn't think so! The reason is that you are not a dwarf. <laughs> was that? Well, if you been born a dwarf, you could understand the dwarf language. If not, you just have to learn to speak English. That's shoddy language. But you learned how to speak English. Yes, I'm very smart. You know what? You. This interview is over. <laughs> we'll return you now. Let me shave your testicles. Oh, oh, shit. Nice. Very nice. Mm, we'll be back to UPN Small Penises, which I will now be on. <laughs> Thank you for watching. My name is Jeff. Bald and beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha